Tim Marker, Napoleon Trailer Review. Guys, let's get right to it. Trailer Reaction. What's going on, Alamo City Movie Talk fans? As always, I'm your host, Ryan D.A. Color, Ryan 680. I'm Angela, the head of the end. And this is the Alamo City Movie Talk, guys. Thank you so much for making us a part of your day. If you have not already, ladies and gentlemen, be sure to check out our YouTube channel. Be sure to hit that like, share, subscribe button because you know you want to, guys. You want more content just like this, watching, the, in this case, trailer reactions. And we got movie reviews. We got a list of films coming out later this week. We got a few stuff already planned out. We got a, a new podcast format we're going to start releasing in. Uh, we're planning to hopefully, hopefully it will happen in October around that time frame. So that's going to be really good to be check out that as well and yeah be sure to hit that subscribe button thank you making us a part of your day all right with that out of the way guys let's get right to it angela what trailer are we talking about so this is an interesting one uh i've been hearing some buzz about it yeah and it looks like it just dropped pretty recently it just dropped today uh joaquin phoenix as napoleon yeah i mean th th not only that but i mean this is a partnership between apple tv you know it's crazy apple tv has such a huge 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 lineup this year oh my god i mean they got flowers uh the moon coming out later this year and that looks fantastic i think uh, i'm calling it right now call me crazy guys call me crazy call me hallucinating i don't care if you were to tell me and i, I would ar i would not argue with you one bit because i'm saying the statement that napoleon and flowers of the moon they're both gonna get they both could be oscar contenders for best picture i would say both of them have the potential to do it they both have that historic feel that Oscar movies usually get. And and I'm a sucker. I'll be honest right now, guys. I am a huge, huge sucker of history movies. Anything we do with history, even biopics, history of artists. Well, I mean, it's just, yeah, I'm, I'm a huge fan. Are you a hu huge fan of history? I am not. <laughs> uh, it's interesting, yeah. but yeah. Uh, out of the school subjects that I remember, that was one of my least favorite. Yeah. Um, but you know, I always like reflecting because it is great. History repeats itself, and yeah. you know, you can learn a lot from our our past. So I got to say, some some to topics are interesting. So I'm pretty curious to see this adaptation of Napoleon. Yeah. I know Joaquin Phoenix pretty kills it. Any role he brings, that you know, he I know he's super dedicated, super passionate about yeah. it. Yeah. Maybe a little bit too much sometimes. Oh, no, I love it. I'd love it. I but mean, he's I, fantastic. I'm curious his take on yeah. this version of Napoleon. I'm, I'm, right. I want to see where this goes. All right, let's talk about this. Let's watch this trailer, guys. Be sure to like, subscribe once again, and let's watch this trailer with y'all. Let's go. Let's talk movies. Damn. Oh, oh the crown. No doubt you've seen the chaos on the streets. Damn. We must make an example. Our friends will fall. What would you do if this assignment of defense was transferred to you? Damn. Oh. I promise you brilliant successes. Oh. <laughs> Dude. Early Scott. Oh. oh. Gladiator, yeah, Gladiator, Martian. What is this costume you have on? This is my uniform. Oh. I let the French victory look too long. <laughs> oh. What is your name? Napoleon. That's the course of my life just changed. Napoleon. Ooh. I'm destined for greatness. Those in power will only see me as a sword. I suggest you take the throne as a king. Ooh. Shall we vote? <laughs> Ooh, dude. That is epic. This learning has held the world hostage. Oh my god. With his egotism and his lack of simple good manners. Nothing without me. Hey, Phoenix. All Europe is uniting forces against me. What's the outcome of this if you don't succeed? Your Majesty, we are discovered. Good. Guys, it's a trap! Oh. I'm the first to admit when I make a mistake. Damn. 
Damn. Dang. I simply never do. Holy dude. Oh man. All right. Uh, you know, really Scott, he actually has and I you know, I haven't really been liking a lot of his movies recently. His films haven't really been hitting home for me. But he um, has some um, Obi, he has Obi, his resume speaks for itself. Resume, I get it. Yes. Yeah, his resume speaks for itself. But uh, it's just recently he hasn't been hitting it with me, guys. I'm putting comments down below if that's the case with you. But holy crap, dude. This really Scott is back. This just looks like an epic Excalibur level of strategizing strategic moves from Napoleon. And I love how they're really, it looks like they're really going to emphasize on that, which I really do love and hope they do because it looks like they are because of the fact that people need to know the reason why. This is a history lesson here. People need to know the reason why he won. They, uh, not like nonstop. It was just one of those things to where like, oh my God, dude, this Joaquin Phoenix, Academy Award winner Joaquin Phoenix yep. mm -hmm. looks like he is embodied napoleon looks like he is that character like it's so weird it i just i know he's the joker right we know he's the joker we know he plays um uh johnny cash famous role but it's weird to see how an actor i mean it's just phenomenal just like i see it with johnny depp too people like to say oh johnny depp you know we see him in black mass parts of the caribbean i don't see johnny depp i see those characters but granted parts of caribbean's fantasy right but i see him embody that character and joaquin phoenix does it again oh my god mm -hmm. he embodied joker he embodied johnny cash i mean i don't when i see you know uh when i see walk the line of course you see joaquin phoenix but when you see him play the joker you don't see joaquin phoenix you see the joker he embodies those characters embodies everything i just this looks fantastic this looks great apple tv does it, it looks like they're gonna knock it out of the park with this one. Oh my god what do you think angela I'm speechless. It's okay. Okay, so I'm I'm not too familiar with history again. This is definitely going to be a lesson for me. Um, I do want to kind of go and uh, re relearn about mm -hmm. this time period because there's a lot that happens. You know, a yeah. lot of like disarray. The country's up in arms. War is happening. Yeah. A coup. It looks like all this stuff's happening, and this During film the, it yeah. captures all of it. Basically, the rise of Napoleon, and I want to see. How historically accurate this is. Yeah. Um, so I'm kind of curious to see that. But I am absolutely in love with Wonky Phoenix. I think he does a great job of bringing this character to the big screen. The effects look amazing. Mm -hmm. The story looks very well done, very yeah, well directed. The only that I, even if it's just a small snippet of this film, I'm also kind of curious about the runtime. I feel like yeah. this could be over three hours for sure. About like a three-hour film. I, I could see it. I could see it. And I and and as long as it's well organized and I, I'm really Scott. I mean, granted though, recently he hasn't been good with me, but it, regardless, Joaquin Phoenix gets me pumped. Knowing that he was already assigned to this project, knowing it was going to be Apple TV and everything, I was already 110% on board. And Apple so, TV yeah. has been doing very well with making sure that their films are they're more exceptional. They're way more. When it comes to Apple TV, there's not a lot. But they go for quality versus quantity. Yes. And that's what I love. That's what I adore when it comes to filmmakers, when it comes to studios actually paying attention to that and there's this the scene where he comes in i just oh my god i love that scene i already i already effing dig it i'm sorry just when he comes in joaquin jump comes in walks up as napoleon and he's like shall we vote when he has all the guns he's taking over the empire he's taking over and it's like dude man this is epic this is it, it, this this movie just looks fantastic it looks like it's going to reach a whole new level on uncertainty and there's there really is uncertainty here you know we get vanessa kirby in here who's actually in talks to play i mean she's she's just hitting it off the parks right now we she's in talks rumored to be in talks to play sue storm she's we just saw her mission impossible uh and and i'm just like holy and now smokes. she's gonna be in this one major yeah. role in this one so she's yeah. definitely up and comer yeah and it's funny to see uh napoleon or joaquin phoenix play another like ruler again because i know well, he played it in gladiator yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they are making gladiator sequel so it's like holy smokes there's a lot happening well come to find out you know vanessa uh, vanessa kirby she actually she came from one of the famous shows which is from the crown she plays prince princess margaret if, if i if i say that wrong if, if i do apologize if it's not princess margaret. i think it's princess princess margaret i could be wrong guys but i know she is from the crown so knowing that it's like holy dude this this woman is just killing out of the park she just got done being on a great show great movie um with mission impossible you know um, and she's gonna do this one and then yeah. she has another one in the product she's again she's up and coming i'm really excited to see 
um, this film. I think it's going to be an absolute exceptional yeah. cinematic experience. Um, again, I'm kind of curious about that runtime. <laughs> and I'm yeah. really curious about the historical accuracy. Yeah. But I'm all on board for this. It's, this is a very well done trailer and it makes yeah. me pumped. Oh, man. I can't wait to see on Thanksgiving Day. Uh, this is Thanksgiving. actually... It's rated <laughs> R, guys. Well, and, yeah. <laughs> and obviously, it's, the battle scenes look fantastic. Holy smokes. They brutal. Look, it looks brutal. They look epic. They look just it, it's almost like a kingdom of okay one of my favorite battle scenes i'll kid you not guys it's not troy one of my it's not 300 one of my favorite battle scenes is gotta be and i know it's nothing x it's nothing calibre it's nothing cgi'd it's more sense of kingdom of heaven they have a lot of good battle scenes in there and i love that movie if you ever seen kingdom of heaven be sure to check that out guys because i love it and it gives me those kingdom of heaven vibes to where it's just reaches that level of uncertainty you don't know what's gonna happen you don't know what i mean obviously you know, we don't story right but we don't know how the movie's going to go. And I love that. I love the uncertainty. Even though you know the story, you're like, <laughs> what's going to happen next? And I love that a lot. But yeah, really Scott's back, guys. I can't wait to see this movie, guys. Put on co comments down below. Did you enjoy this movie, guys? Questions for you guys. Did you enjoy this movie? And yeah, give us a thumbs up on our trailer reaction. And we do enjoy this trailer, obviously. This is looks great. looks epic. Napoleon movie coming out. Apple TV on Thanksgiving Day. All right, have a good one, guys. Stay safe, San Antonio. As always, I'm your host, Ryan D. You can Ryan 680. I'm Angela Dacalian. And this is Alamo City Mutual, guys. Stay safe, San Antonio. Peace. Mm -hmm.